News Channel 5's Marcy Gonzalez has more from Miami. Nubia's tragic life will not be a hidden sadness. A hidden sadness brought to light one month ago when Nubia Barahona was found dead in the back of her father's pickup truck. Her brother Victor badly burned but alive. Today the Department of Children and Families announced actions to try to keep such a tragedy from happening again. This tragedy was more than just mistakes and poor job execution by selected employees. It was a total systematic failure of the child welfare system. And to fix part of the failure, 19 specific changes, including working closer with law enforcement, getting more technology for the abuse hotline, and hiring 80 new child welfare investigators. This is very good for kids in Florida. Good, but seemingly costly, especially as the department faces budget cuts. But Secretary David Wilkins vows it will not take an extra dime from taxpayers. This department can and will reduce its overall operating budget but will not do so on the backs of the frontline workers. Wilkins says he'll work within the budget partially by cutting from the department's administration, saying the changes are not only affordable, but will be effective, claiming these new processes could have possibly saved Nubia and Victor and even helped the two young children found dead this month in a Delray Beach canal. If we had several of these additional processes, I think we would have acted on the red flags that we now see. A fund has been set up for Victor Barahona and his two surviving adopted siblings. We have the information on that, as well as DCF's full report released today in the Scene on 5 section of WPTV.com. In Miami, Marcy Gonzalez, WPTV News Channel 5.